So, some people have wondered what I do for work, and what I do when I'm actually being an engineer. Um, what you can see, I've got some stuff that uh, my friend Rob just finished painting. Ooh, cubes! See, these are cool. These are for mounting uh, these uh, subwoofers that I make. They're, uh, they're propellers-based subwoofers, and they're really neat looking, and they work really well. And these are the frames that I make when we want to ship them off for uh, people that, you know, people that want to mess with them. This is my old office slash uh, storage closet. Um, we've got a couple of the experimental guys in here, though. That is actually a subwoofer. So is that. And that. And those are some motors. So today I'm building a unicycle for a glider. Uh, it's to support a wing. Um, that's what I got so far. Ooh, I caught up a bunch of pieces, and I took them in the grinding room, and I didn't take the camera into the grinding room because there's sparks and metal flying everywhere, and I didn't want to break it. Uh, but I caught a bunch of pieces. Ooh, and these things are really cool. I made them a while ago. Um, they're really useful for welding uh, steel at the right angles. See, they're magnetic, and they sort of, they can hold stuff really, really well. And you can do 3D red angles too. Be a lot of fun. <laughs> too easy. Makes welding a lot faster. Uh, using little clamps is no fun. Um, oh yeah. Uh, if you want to know what's really useful for anything, um, it's a box of broken magnets. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, those are out of the speakers we make, um, but they're broken, so I get to play with them, and then take them home sometimes, and put them in things, lots of fun. Okay, everything's uh, magneted together, and now I'm going to attack it. Um, when you weld something, uh, always make sure to put in a lot of tack. Like, on this drawing, I put a tack there, and there. Uh, oh, a tack is a very small weld, so it can break easily in case you screw it up. Uh, so I got the tack there, and 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 there. It never hurts to tack your piece too much because when you weld big welds, like normal welds, uh, they contract as they cool, so they'll bend your piece and it's really annoying if you don't have it all held together really well. Anyway, I'm going to weld, and I'm not going to show you that because I don't want to break my camera. <laughs> MIG welder! Uh, MIG stands for metal inert gas, so you use a metal feed here, and uh, when that makes contact to the workpiece over there, uh, it makes the wire melt because of very high current flowing through it. And also, if you listen very carefully... Ah! Carbon dioxide flowing through the hose. Lots of fun. Mm. Okay, that wasn't really welding, but... Yeah. Ooh, shiny! There is nothing I love better than a shiny, fresh weld. Um... I probably do a lot of stuff wrong when I weld because I taught myself how to do it, but eh, the welds look good and they hold stuff together, so that's all I need, right? Yeah. The old bottom. There's the top. There you go. Go together sort of like that there. But you got to be able to clamp the wing in there. So what I've made is this thing here. It's a uh, couple of washers welded to a spring on a nut with a thing on the end. And uh, you, uh, I'm gonna make sort of a foldy thing so it like clamps it really good, but I haven't quite figured out how that's gonna work. Uh, but I am going to use this piece of metal and mill. The three axis mill. Mm. Bridgeport. Ooh, nice old heavy steel. I love heavy machines. Cut, 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 cut. Uh, I gotta do the thing though, so I'm gonna loosen that, take that piece up, and replace it with. Whoop. I'm gonna replace it with that one.
Bark. I think I need two hands for this. Uh, hey, cheap lubricant for machining? Used engine oil! My, my boss has an airplane, so he actually makes a lot of engine oil. Deburring tool keeps fingers safe. Makes things look kind of pretty. That's not how you use it, but I have to use two hands. Ooh, getting there. Mmm, more grinding. Oh, and a significant amount of filing. Mmm, hinges. Uh, these are galvanized steel hinges. So, if you're ever going to weld something galvanized, it's a good idea to either pickle off or brush off the uh, zinc, which is what galvanized is. Um, pickling is just soaking it in vinegar for, I don't know, a week. Or you can just take a wire brush to it and get most of it off. I mean, if you're going to weld it, it's not that bad. You just sort of overdose on vaporized zinc, which is not lethal, but you have a fever and you get all sleepy and it's not a lot of fun. So I like to take off the zinc before I weld just for, you know, so I feel good when I go home. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs>